So you can oh, sync the that makes so much sense. audio and the video. I'm learning so much about YouTube. Hello, inter I'm just kidding. <laughs> Behind the scenes, there's a mic right there. <laughs> We're going to see how this works. I, I don't really know. Is this more metaphors? This is a Disney puzzle. So we're as adult as possible. Of course. Always. It doesn't get more adulting than putting together a, a beautiful, picturesque puzzle of Cinderella post-wedding. I feel no. like we <laughs> continually Counting. have a Cinderella, oh, Cinderella theme. theme. Yeah. It's not bad. No, not at all. I had a thought. I don't remember what it was. That happens to me a lot, too. Our brains just move so quick, like, we just can't, we just can't. I mean, I basically already put the puzzle together in my brain, so there's that. <laughs> <laughs> so that's a thing. <laughs> I've said it now. <laughs> it's out there. The world knows more about me now. Hello, world. This is Dawn. Hello, internet. Oh, yeah, I found a scalp. <laughs> We That's are two 25-year-olds on a Friday night <laughs> putting together a Cinderella puzzle. This is legit. This is lit. Lit. <laughs> lit af. We were listening to, what was it, Young and Free? The Spotify playlist, the Young and Free. Neither of us are having any existential crisis. We're doing fine. Things are good. Life is on track. That's how you twitch in the background. <laughs> <laughs> Aren't we supposed to talk about, like dads at barbecues. I just introduced Dawn <laughs> to Matt and Maddie. Um, we watched the 4th of July episode. I 100% agree with the, the sexy dad uh, thing <sighs> yeah. that happened. Honestly, Not Matthew Gatos' uh, sexy uncle voice <laughs> was hilarious. I got some brats <laughs> on the grill. <laughs> Maddie was like, can I have a kale salad? And he's like, but no. I got some deer burgers. <laughs> Back in my mind, my Eastern Shore, Maryland, was like, it's venison. I mean, right, right. clearly. But when it was like, no, I, I, funny enough, I hit it with my <laughs> truck. <laughs> because And then you, I had flashbacks. You hit a deer. The deer <laughs> literally made a, a body imprint on my hood and flew very dramatically into the air and crashed to the ground and then it looked at me and then it ran away who could have you know driven up to me and just thought a phantom thing decided right. to kill itself on my car the, the tow truck guy was like wow that that's quite a dent you got there did are you gonna keep the deer and i was like half in tears because my car is totaled and i was like no it ran away and he was like oh that sucks. You could have gotten some real nice jerky out of that. <laughs> I was like, yeah, yeah. That's the place where we grew up. Yeah, you're right. Sorry. Cinderella, Cinderella. I don't remember how the rest of that song goes. Bippity boppity boo. Oh, that's probably copyrighted. Oops. <laughs> we don't have the rights for that. I'm sorry. But now we can sing happy birthday. Now? Yeah, they released the copyright on it. It's like been... I don't know, the time frame of that yeah. thing, I'm so, I, I, I'm a, clearly a lawyer, so, um. <laughs> I'm sorry, I thought you were getting your PhD in chemistry and not copyright law. Well, you know, I dabble on the side. <laughs> with I'm things. a renaissance woman. <laughs> but, but something about, you know, the copyright can only last for so many years, yeah. and it, it went up, and so you can officially now sing happy birthday in videos and... Restaurants and I was not aware it that it was a thing. Probably long ago. Haven't you ever noticed, like, when you go to like any restaurant, happy, they happy like birthday. yeah, they make up like really silly songs. And also on TV, <sighs> TV's the worst because you know they have like oh let's sing happy birthday and they start doing something really strange. And Honestly, like, oh, it's nice. not something that ever occurred to me. Just sing happy birthday like a normal person, <laughs> right? <laughs> What's wrong with you? There's a happy birthday song for a reason. <laughs> Rainbow dumbass. <laughs> yeah, get your shit together, honey. <laughs> How do you know what a rainbow looks like? I'm getting sweaty. <laughs> oh, oh, let's turn the air down. This is getting athletic. We Woo! should probably do squats in between. <laughs> squats. Please don't put that on me. The camera will kill me. The form was off. Cameron will be like, I want a divorce. That was not, <laughs> that was not the proper squat form. <laughs> not, not the booty that we wanted but the booty that you needed. It's not the booty you deserve right now. Yeah. <laughs> That's exactly what Batman said. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> That's what Batman tells me when I'm at the gym. Don, I don't know how to break it to you, but I don't think that was Batman. <laughs> you know, you know, you always have those people that like you meet and you realize you're like, I, I'm confident in who I am and uh -huh. my intelligence. And then you meet this person and you're like, my whole life is a sham. <laughs> I really should have studied harder yep. at all times. Yep. <laughs> uh, and I always find that funny because because my husband, he always inspires me a lot to be like think more critically and be a better scientist and things like that and he's just incredibly intelligent so he also inspires me a lot to learn more and be better at things in life um Always and and goal. and noah was that person for cameron Aww. which was fascinating for me to see i always just felt like cameron's the most wonderful person in the world and i love him don't so cute <laughs> and and it was just really interesting to see the person that makes him be like wow there's so much i don't know and he does. Look at these beautiful balloons in the background. Have you seen the gifts of Bill Clinton loving balloons from the Democratic National no. Convention? <laughs> so, <laughs> there's been all this stuff on Twitter that's like, I want someone to look at me the way the Bill looks at balloons. I can you Google this. Yeah. Let's Google this. I'm blue. Da no, we don't have the rights for that. So many pictures of Bill Clinton playing with balloons that you need to see. <laughs> yes. Well, thank you, BuzzFeed. His someone face. clearly, someone clearly stayed up really late doing this. He's just like balloons. Here, Bill sees the balloons for the first time. <laughs> they are real, not just something he heard about in the storybook. <laughs> Bill gets to touch one. We're still doing things, and unfortunately, you missed a lot of the good uh, Bill Clinton with balloon stuff. But <gasps> look that much. up a lot. Look it up. Dawn has the cutest cat ever. It's true. She is. And she's so fluffy. This she is Fermion. Fermion. Oh! oh. oh. <laughs> she doesn't like uh, that, so don't do that. But she loves lasers. Lasers. They can't see it. But what's happening right now is there's a laser pointer, as you would expect with a cat. And the cat is chasing it. Surprise. <laughs> Shocker. Animal behaviorist out there. You know, got some good cat behavior. <laughs> we got the data, <laughs> is what we're trying to say. I have uh, classified it. We have the time, the temperature, the pH. It's, it's all, we're ready. I did a T test. I did a... To, t to determine what? Is everywhere. I said before this that we needed to make sure we weren't as all over the place as last time. We just needed to make sure it wasn't a mess. Not a mess. <laughs> infinite puzzles. Add infinitum puzzles. Pupperfoot. I was about to make a comment about how good your vocabulary was and how it <laughs> wasn't know. 14 year old vocabulary, and then you said pupperfoot. <laughs> so, for those of you who don't know, I recently took an online quiz which was highly accurate. <laughs> yeah. As, as all on online quizzes are. When when you take them at 11.30 at night and, you know, with your husband because you're bored and you don't have anything else better to do. But I found out that my vocabulary is as good as a 14-year-old teenage girl. And since we're still 14-year-old <laughs> teenage girls, <laughs> accurate. that's so accurate. You know, it's pupperfoot. Just... It's clearly the language of a PhD uh, chemist. I thought we were going to equate this to the bachelorette. <laughs> no. Nope. I was like, that was going to get weird, <laughs> like, real quick. I learned from... Eighth grade, not to go after the same guy as you had. Neither of us won in the end. Um, I think <laughs> both of us won. Abby and I dated the same person. NBD. Okay. <laughs> really, what happened, and this is gonna make me look worse, is that Dawn dated this child <laughs> in. God, that sounds really horrible. <laughs> I didn't date a child. I was also a Dawn child. Dawn was a child in like. I guess for you, 7th to 8th grade. And then they broke up, and three months later, I was like, Hey, Don, is it okay if I date him? And Don's like, yeah, sure. <laughs> In between sobs. <laughs> right, right. But because like he was the love of my life, and, mm -hmm. you know, we were destined to be together, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Eighth grade journal writing. Right. Um, so, yeah, sure. then I was like, okay, well, you said it's cool, so I'm gonna go ahead and date him. I mean, I'm not about to stop true love from happening, but was I upset? Of course. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That was when I learned to read between the lines. 
AKA, girls are bitches. You were never a bitch. You were just an eighth grader. I was an eighth grader. Happy to say that clearly our friendship survived it. <laughs> that conversation that I saved to my Zanga, because, you know, we're I was talking about. to explain that to somebody. Zanga. <laughs> You're like, it's basically Tumblr, but not. <laughs> it's like it's WordPress, really but lame. And I copy and pasted our AOL Instant Messenger, aka AIM conversation, to Thank Zanga. You. I'm so I'm showing my age right now. I know <laughs> it's bad. I think the internet's making it way easier to show your age mm -hmm. because things go and leave in popularity that you're like, oh yeah, that one time I posted something to MySpace and everyone's like, what the <laughs> fuck? <laughs> That's how old you are. Right, you had a MySpace. Things are only popular for like six months, so you you like very clearly age yourself. <laughs> Unless you're a baby nowadays on Facebook. You know, you've had a profile since pre-birth. There's a lot of things that I am not, like, a big stickler about for the internet and stuff like that. Like, there are things I'm like, meh, whatever. But don't make a profile for your baby. It's starting to turn into a legal problem. Mm. Because as a baby, you have no say in right what's being posted which then, like, later on in life, mm -hmm. if you don't want it on the internet. So, for instance, like, John Green has two kids. He's decided when his children get old enough to make that decision, yeah. they can decide. They can post the content if they want. And I think that's the problem, is that <laughs> as a, you know, two-day-old baby, <laughs> you have no say whether or not mom puts on a butt pic of you or not. <laughs> I don't feel super strongly about privacy on the internet like there's not very much that I feel the need to hold back hmm. but that's just me let's imagine a scenario right now where <laughs> you want to run for president and someone finds your mom's Facebook pic of you as a baby doing something just obscene but like just... what are you gonna do as a baby that's obscene I mean there was that like video the video of the kid smoking cigarettes when he was like six years old or you yeah, know, but like that's not your crap. problem. I mean, the whole point of Facebook is to connect to people. Yeah. And, like, clearly having a baby is a really big moment. Right. Um, and so I find it hard to, to justify how parents can't, like, post pictures of their children on the internet. <laughs> but I understand how it could cause potentially problems later on in life because these things never go away. You know, like, what do you do if you're a dumb teenager and you're, like, doing something really stupid on the internet when you're 15 and now it's 30 years later and you're trying to get a job and someone finds it and it's like why did you yeah. do this on the internet well and that's that's the reason why we need to rather than restrict internet access to children we need to teach them <laughs> properly how to use it because the internet's not going away I mean, that's my big thing we've talked a lot about in school is whether or not you should take kids' phones away and, and make them not be able to use them. And I completely don't think that you should. I think that instead uh, children need to learn that there are proper ways to use them and there are ways to use your devices that are not distracting or times to use them when they're not distracting. So you, rather than not giving them the chance to learn that, you have to let them learn from their mistakes and sometimes learn the hard way. AKA, you play Diner Dash for two hours and fail your algebra test. That saws. Sucks to suck. Yeah. Thank you for watching. Nope, I don't want to say that yet. What have we talked about? What are your thoughts on what internet are your... privacy? <laughs> yeah. And... Thoughts on internet privacy. Bill Clinton and balloons. Bill Clinton and balloons. For sure. How you think that puzzles relate to real life as metaphors. You have your job. Get to it. <laughs> I'll be down there. She probably won't. Let's be real. <laughs> down where? On In the puzzle? <laughs> In life? <laughs> You're just gonna be down. JK, we'll both be down. Let's be real. <laughs> it's getting lit up in here. <laughs> lit. All right. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching. See y'all later. Perfect. <laughs>